Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Boss Nasty Silva here at MLG Dallas 2013, representing Call of Duty Esports, man. Almost the end of day one. What is your name? What's your gamer tag? Uh, my name is Blake Campbell, gamer tags Vengeance. My name is Flawless. Richard Ferrer is my real name. My name is Impulsion. I'm the coach of Next Threat. CJ, CJ Walker, Pluto. The, the gentle giant. You have a very soft voice about you. So nice. Oh, did you guys compete in the online qualifier? Uh, we did. Okay, how'd you do? Uh, we lost to Perico, first round. And then we won a couple uh, games against some random teams, and then we barely lost to Vintage um, last map okay. in s and yeah. Did you guys get a seed? What seed did you guys have coming in? Uh, what was the seed? 30-something. 30-something, I think. Yeah. Okay, so how... <laughs> Yeah, I go. Yeah, I go. Well, I guess that's what you mean by pretty bad. I mean, what, it's, it's like if it's not top 16, it's shit. Is that kind of what you... Uh, it's not like top 8, it's shit, okay. pretty much. Damn, I must have like really fucking bad standards. What are you guys doing in this event so far? We've been doing all right. Like, I thought the whole split screen thing was like a whole new thing that we had to get used to. And then we ended up playing Complexity as a first match. We were pretty close. It was, it was all pretty close the whole match. And then... Uh, we just had little mistakes and we lost it. Are you pretty guys still in the tournament? Yeah, we're in losers back right now. We're starting tomorrow at 10:30. Okay. Uh, what round? Do you know? Round? Is it round five? Do you know who you play? No, uh, no. What number event is this for you? For me, this is my second event. Mm, my number six, 61. 61? 60, yeah. MLG events? Or just, or just you know, esports events in general. Maybe you've competed uh, in probably like eight or nine, I think. Not XP champ. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've been in two. I, I took a big like break from competitive gaming. I'm just coming back now. How are you enjoying MOG Dallas? Obviously, they got the new layout here now for the first time of showing this off. How are you enjoying it so far? It's awesome. Uh, they really like they really upgraded from what it was in like Black Ops and stuff. Yeah. It's uh, I don't know. It's, can't really put it to where it's, it's sick. I think it's pretty dope. The main stage is the main stage is pretty tight. Got the bleachers set up like a stadium. I like that. I um, also like how Call of Duty is like in the middle of everything yeah. so everybody sees it. It's like the shortest distance. Yeah, to exactly. How do you like the new layout? How do you like the bleachers? Because, you know, it used to be a Halo thing. They took it away for a while. Now they brought it back. How do you like that? Man, those things are badass. I miss those things at Halo. The last time I saw those was probably uh, MW2 Nationals. So, yeah, those things are sick. And, and now that uh, Black Ops 2 is in the middle of the, you know, the featured pretty much game, like, yeah. That's just amazing. Okay. Like, I'm so pumped for that. I can't wait to play on main stage. How do you like that? Do you feel like MLG showing COD like a lot of love? Oh, I love it, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's our game. Obviously, it's all we play, so it's, it all works out for us. Do any of you guys have any gaming rituals? Yeah, I always drink a gallon of OJ. <laughs> for real? You got a brand? Uh, not like Tropicana? Nah, it depends, actually. Like, here, they didn't have the brand I get at home, the Sunny D. Okay. So I just had to go with the generic 7-Eleven. Okay. Is it a high pulp or no pulp? No pulp. Uh, man, I just eat, go to the gym, and game. That's that's about it. Okay, okay. I mean, nothing weird, like you like you don't play with your socks off or, you know, like, uh, you know, we've heard from some people that they don't take everything out of their pockets. Oh, uh, I definitely take things out of my pockets, okay. yeah. I hate when it's in my way. If I have my watch on me, I take that off. Okay. Um, so you, you kind of like to, you, so you kind of like to be stripped, yeah, so to speak. I like to sit back in my chair. I don't like to lean forward into the the screen. Okay. But I like the screen close too. Well, like I just sit really close to my TV. Like everything has to be straight. Like it just has to be like I don't know why, but like if someone's offside, it's like. I gotta fix that in order to play better. I don't know. It's okay. Just a weird mindset. Okay. So like, how close are we talking to the? Are we talking like fear itself close, where you're like this? Uh, probably like this. Okay. Just so like I can see everything easier. I don't know. But he constantly, he constantly like adjusts his uh, his screen in the middle of while he's playing, and then like he'll like wipe his hands off while he's playing. So he's like yeah, he's doing like this motion. For real? Yeah, man. I'm alive, dude. Gamer gloves. There you go, bro. These oh, things yeah. are freaking awesome. I don't only wear them to keep away germs from all the fuckers that don't wash their hands in the bathroom, right? But it's genius. I wear these, I shake people's hands. Think about how many people don't wash their hands in the bathroom or just kind of unhygienic. Black Ops 2, finally the COD title that is implementing esports features in it. We got League Play, you guys got CODcaster. What does it mean to be a part of the COD community and finally see some esports features in a title? I don't know, it's pretty sick. Like Codcaster, that's like I've used that quite often on like for YouTube videos, stuff like that. Yeah. It's a very useful like feature. Um, I don't know, it's it's pretty sweet. Like the developers support and everything. Uh, like you know the, the issue with the cat forties, like we yeah. jumped on that pretty quick. Yeah. Once the community spoke out, so that's kinda cool. I'm actually pretty happy about it. Um, Cods came a long way, started out 
nationals, we didn't even have a main stage. We had to, we had to play at a one one station all weekend. Then uh, Modern Warfare 3, we didn't even have any support. And then Black Ops 2 now, it's like like the main thing. We got the biggest main stage, bleachers, $100,000 tournament, well, million dollar tournament payouts, 50,000 here. Last year, what was it, like 10,000 for first place? It was 10,000, wasn't it? The payout for events last year for Black Ops? Yeah. And then, yeah, now now the events here. Are so technical, so technical. What's up? No, I was just saying he was he was technical with that. It was like he's like I'm not gonna let you slide on that. Like this is how much it was. <laughs> yeah, and like the payouts now are as, are as much as the national payouts were last year. So that's better too okay. for players. How long have you been playing Call of Duty competitively? At least since like 2008. Okay. So yeah, pretty long time. About um, four years. Yeah, about four years. Okay. Um, it's almost five now. Yeah, but I've been like yeah. if we want to be technical. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you know it's great because. You know, Call of Duty kind of went through a downtime when Modern Warfare 3 came out. Um, you know, MLG wasn't around. Um, you know, we didn't have the, the support like we do now with, you know, David Vondahar and, you know, Treyarch, you know, the support behind us. So, you know, I think it's great for it, you know, to finally come through, and I think it's only going to get bigger. Like Vench said, the downfall and all that with MW3, we didn't really have caught. All we had is EGL. So I guess, like, more teams kind of stopped playing. A lot of players quit and all that stuff, but it's going to happen now. Like, uh, there's a lot of money online for us players to win. Are you all you guys familiar with, like, the patch update notes? What do you think about that? Let's start with you. I think the SMGs are kind of fine to begin with. It's so hard to, like, kill an AR. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just different for me, I guess. Um, I don't release the shotgun. Never have. The AR is nice. Like, I'm glad they did that because it's pretty weak from far range. Online, I notice, like, a lot more things. It's it's more of a struggle, but on LAN, I don't really notice much of a difference. I think it's all the same to me. The caps, uh, I saw a couple people using them, but mostly no one's, no, no one, they're not using them as much anymore. Okay, so the, we haven't been seeing them, like, aggressively spam, yeah. kind of using oh, yeah. them every yeah. I think it was needed. Like, the, the cap 40s were getting ridiculous. Okay. I, think, I think there was teams using, like, all four cap like you know on certain like hard point certain maps they were running four caps yeah. so uh, that wasn't too like wasn't too it wasn't too fun to even spectate okay. matches so it was definitely needed uh, SMGs um, I, I don't know I think it, I think it kind of balances out because you don't you don't want to be an AR player getting killed across the map by an SMG uh, you know it kind of defeats the purpose of having an AR okay. I don't know so I, I think it's okay. I don't, it doesn't really bother me. I think the SMGs were fine. Um, the, the caps needed a, the caps needed a patch badly. They were like shooting nukes from short to medium close range. Um, the ARs, the ARs, I'm not really an AR player, so I don't really have much to say about those, but I can tell that the AN's a lot better than they used to be. Who tweets the most pointless shit in the Call of Duty community? That's hard, man. That's a hard one, man. <laughs> Pluto. Pluto's definitely one of them right over there at the end. Yeah. You can name multiple people. Yeah. Uh, okay. Man, this is like on the spot roasting people, man. Oh, yes, like, uh, and you got to give me an example of someone they've tweeted. Censor, censor tweets some pointless shit. Talks a lot about girls, man. I like, always wanted them. He's like, he's like always hungry for chicks, man. Censor? Yeah, censor. He's always posting like self self pictures of himself and stuff and like yeah those selfies the man selfies. he's got to get rid of those I've never heard about that thing. Like, oh yeah selfies? oh yeah it's bad man you know you're in the you're in the bathroom taking pictures yeah <laughs> who starts the most drama on twitter next next okay example my opinion uh or gillums yeah, yeah gillums Dane's gonna sleep people and stuff well, i don't know man like he'll pick on a pro player and be like oh you're gonna get Knock the fuck out. He's not even a real person. He's not even a real person. No, I think it's next. Yeah, everybody everybody thinks it's next. Give me your best pro player impression. I'm gonna do Nate shot. Okay. Alright. We ain't going out like that. Bang bang. Yeah. <laughs> Black Ops 2. Is there anything that you guys would like to see added? If, if you had a chance to like add a new feature, add something to Black Ops 2 or to fix something. Oh, to fix, yeah. oh. Anything, it could be add or fix. Okay, I would uh, take out the, the caps or just, I mean, even do another nerf on them pretty much. Okay. Uh, Fouls actually, has, has anybody been using the foul? Oh man, it's still pretty strong. Yeah, I, I would take away the foul. Okay. Um, other than that, I think the game is pretty balanced if you take out those things. Well, they need to kind of balance something because with the uh, trophy systems and the sentry guns because I mean
people will throw them outside the map, and you know you're not going to be able to shoot the trophy system. So I mean, the sentry gun's going to unless you airstrike it. Have you been noticing any like sneaky, like different tactics people have been using so far? Uh, yeah. Or anything um, interesting that caught your eye? Definitely CTF. Uh, if, te if, so if a team goes up one zero. They'll just all camp for sentries, and then when one person gets a sentry, they'll just play D and just toss 10 trophy systems on the flag, so it's okay. impossible to EMP it or get near it. Okay. What are the tendencies right now? What have you been noticing people using a lot? Probably the PDW. People don't really use that a lot. I guess because of the land, like the whole update thing, it's like, it's just been bad. How long have you guys been together for? At least a year, I think. Well, how to keep it going on how to stick together? Um, You know, you gotta, you gotta find, you know, you know, look into their souls when you say it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, basically look at your teammates' personalities, and you know, there's some things you don't have to necessarily like your teammates, but you do have to respect them um, to in order to win an event and you know, be an accomplished team. And don't just drop somebody, you know, if they're doing bad, you know, you gotta work through it and really and, until you get to that point where it's like, okay, you know, this guy's good or this guy's not, but you know. Other than that, you know, just like keep practicing and you know keep grinding, get better yourself. Dedication. If you like have a problem with the team, work together. Like don't be all negative about it. Like focus as a team, and then do fix your problems, fix your mistakes. You gotta keep grinding. Huh? <laughs> no, no. No, just, it, it, I think it was how you lined it up. You're like, right, oh, yeah. yeah. Find a find a set of people who you know can win, and and don't don't judge based off of online. Like if you know your teammates are good. And you know they can win their gunfights. Then go to an event. Like, don't 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 drop somebody because they're doing bad online. Because our team, I have the worst connection on our team. And I'm, I go double, I go dub neg online because I get connection interruption every five seconds. And then on land, our whole team is just doing work together. Online play versus land, it's like a lot different. But it, like you said, if you get along with people on online, and you mesh, you you work well together. Like. Um, and you, like, like say some people aren't performing well online, Lance like a totally different thing. Okay. If you were to show up, you know, things could, like as long as you get along, performance will come. Just keep working at it. Shout outs, plugins, go ahead, start with you. For sponsor pulls, Pro Grips, for uh, hooking us up with uh, the Pro Grips. Up to my, my family, my girlfriend, and my friends. Your Twitter? And my Twitter is uh, Pulse underscore Flawless. Follow me there. My, my family and Twitter is at uh, Pulse underscore Ben. Follow me on Twitter, post on for Pluto. Team Pulse, Impulsion, the manager slash coach. I'm gonna shout out to my boy, my boy Brim Laden, my national champion. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Cynical, that's my boy. Shout out to Jigga, shout out to uh, Keenan, and shout out to my boy Phil. Oh yeah, and shout out to Latasha, that's my boo. That wifey. Yeah, follow the team on uh, Twitter at Next Rep Pro. Uh, shout out to all of our sponsors, Paul C Sports. Uh, Razor, Daily Motion, Pro Grips. Uh, shout out to uh, my dad; he's a big supporter of esports, uh, and that's we're the re that's uh, the main reason why we're here. Bad Pulse uh, underscore Impulsion. We can spell it up, man. It's a weird word, right? They try to spell it. Before I did. I, I can't even remember what the fuck you just said. I'm gonna be honest. It's Next Threat Pro, not Vengeance. Damn it. Well, I mean, it pretty much is Team Vengeance. No, no, no. It ain't Vengeance. We're here at MLG Dallas 2013, Justin Boss, Isaac Silver, representing Call of Duty Esports. Big shout out to Team Next Threat, man. So thankful for y'all taking some time to do an interview with me. Once again, man, we're going to end the night probably out here pretty soon. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Gamer Grub is available at these fine retailers.